Hey Lane Pride, it's your girl Britt, the owner and the operator of Crafts by Britt. Today we are working on multiple platforms, so I'm on different devices. Um, once you get on the live, do me a favor and speak to your girl. Let me know what city and state you are tuning in from and let me know are you a crafter or a business owner. Um, today we are going to be discussing how I ended up with 1,000 uh, baggies that I can't do anything with, okay? So I have been getting a little bit more into business credit and stuff like that. So I decided to um, open up a Net30 account. Let me know if you know what a Net30 account is or what Net30 stands for. Let me know. Let me know. Um, let me go into the group so I can see y'all's an answers. Let me know if you know what a Net30 account is. Let me know if you've been working on your business credit. I just started working on mine. Um, I actually found somebody on TikTok that I like. And so I've been following her. And so I was like, well, I'm going to go through the process and I'm going to go through the steps. And then as I go, then I can show y'all and let y'all know some things. So let me know, like I said, what city and state you are tuning in from. Let me know, are you a crafter or a business owner? Mimi says she's from West Georgia. Credit turn, a uh, business owner or comedian. Thank you for commenting, Miss Mimi. Y'all, we have four people on the live already. Let's get these likes up, okay? Let's get the likes up. Everyone needs to be liking the video, commenting the video. Let me know what city and state you are tuning in from. Um, this is an absolute free Q&A session. And during these Q&A sessions, I try to fill y'all in on information that I know. I know my hair is looking a mess. I'm going to retwist it sometime this week. But I was like, let me get on here before I get too tired. Um, I know it's already late. The kids are getting ready to go back to school. My daughter starts school tomorrow. Are y'all, if y'all have kids that are in school, um, let me know if they're, when they start back or around the time that they start back. My daughter starts back tomorrow. My son starts back on Monday. Y'all make sure that y'all are liking the video, commenting the video. I want to know, are you a crafter or a business owner? I want to know who's been working on their business credit. You don't got to tell us your business, uh, your personal business, but just fill us in what you got going on who you are mimi says she knows what a net 30 is thank you miss mimi anybody else know what a net 30 is or um let's see I'm trying to see all the comments a business owner um today we see. are going hold on y'all we have four comments i'm trying to get on here and see them for those of you that are on the personal page, please run hey, it up. Um, um, Tori says, good evening. Good evening, Tori. How are you? Um, hey, Yolanda. Hey, Miss Betty. Okay, so from my understanding, a Net30 account for a business is like a credit line that you have to pay back within 30 days. A Net60 is a credit line that you have to pay back in 60 days, okay? So my first Net30 account that I opened up is with Uline. A lot of a lot of people say go through Uline. Um, the lady that I'm following on TikTok, she suggested Uline. With Uline, you don't have to have an LLC. You can get this stuff with your EIN, and there are a few of them that will allow you to get your uh allow you to get um a business credit line without a llc okay so in this box this is what they sent me a catalog and y'all the way that i ended up just ordering these little bitty baggies no not this big baby don't get happy but the way that i ended up ordering these little bitty baggies was i was like i just really wanted to try it out and see how it worked look how little this is look at this y'all look at this what is this i ordered a thousand of these i don't know what i <laughs> i don't know what to do with these but it's a thousand of them i don't know they might be in a goodwill box but anyways i really just wanted to see how it works and so one thing that I did observe um, and one reason why I ordered one of the cheapest things that they had to offer. Hey, Miss Ravel. Miss Ravel says, good night. Hello. Drop some hearts if y'all want to know why I um, why I ordered one of the cheapest things. 
Why do y'all think I ordered one of the cheapest things that they have to offer? Hey, Miss Princess Diamond, I haven't seen you out here in a while. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, Dana said, oh, my. <laughs> uh, Miss Mammy said, OMG. <laughs> y'all, look at this. What am I going to do? I, what, who? I mean, I guess whoever made glitter, if y'all want them, if y'all want some of them, whoever sells glitter, let me know. <laughs> I don't know how much glitter you can get in here. But if you if you sell glitter or rhinestones, I guess that would be perfect. But um, one of the reasons why I ordered the cheapest thing on their uh, list is because, number one, I wanted to check it out, try it out. A lot of y'all that got into the sublimation blanks business, y'all went in and bought a bunch of blanks and didn't know what to do with them. So I didn't want to do that um, to myself with this type of process okay another reason is because you have to pay it back in 30 days so a lot of you all are looking for business credit looking for business credit right drop your hearts uh if you feel like if you just get some type of funding that is going to take you to the next level like all you need is a good 10k right now let me know hey miss victoria let me know drop some hearts if y'all feel like all y'all need is ten thousand dollars and y'all gonna take off and be rich because we rich, 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 rich. Okay, so that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, is that when you get loans and stuff, and when you're dealing with um, net 30s and net 60s, you need to be able to pay them back. So if you're not able to make money in your business right now, and you have a creaking machine, or you have access to DTF transfers, I can almost guarantee you that you're not going to be ready for any type of business credit, because how are you going to pay these people back? Let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So, like, even if you were to get approved for a, um, this is the example that old girl had gave earlier. If you were to be able to be approved for, like, a Maserati, right? How you gonna pay your car note? How would you pay the car note? So, yeah, your business EIN or your LLC was able to get you approved, but how will you pay for that? This stuff is not free. So, all you're gonna be doing is pushing your business into more and more debt. So, um... That's just food for thought. And then it made me think about like um, Shopify and how Shopify, they only give you a capital loan based off of the sales that you make. And that's because they want to make sure that you are going to pay them back. Mammy says, I don't think you can put two stud earrings. <laughs> I don't think, look, that's why I was like, I don't think nothing going to fit in these, y'all. But that's the reason why. I also wanted to order something, like I said, that was reasonably priced that I could pay back a little at a time and it wouldn't hurt me. So, you know, even though I spent like $25 on a thousand bags that I can't use, that $25 is going to help me to build business credit, okay? <clears throat> but like I said, I got to pay that $25 back within 30 days of my purchase. Okay. So if I was to go and say, get a thousand dollars worth of stuff, right? I would have to have a thousand dollars to pay these people in 30 days. <clears throat> Princess Diamond said custom cufflinks can fit in it. Mm, let me show you this. This is not the bag. Okay. If you're new to the live, this is not the bag. <laughs> If it was this bag, I could put something in there. <laughs> but I don't even think that I can fit the round substrate for my smallest sublimation blank. Look at this. Like, y'all, look. Let me see. I don't have no coins or anything around me. But I just want y'all to be able to see. Like, this is a mess. Hold on. But let me know if y'all understand. And like I said, as I grow, I will... Um, help you all grow right now one thing that old girl said and one thing that stood out to me is that you want to focus on things that you actually use on a regular basis so um i do travel to dallas a lot and so i'm looking into getting a gas card because that's something that i use on a regular basis right it's something that i actually need for my business you can go open up a bunch of net 30 accounts and you don't need them they're they can't do anything for your business so look, y'all, the tip of this lip gloss container will not even fit in there. That's how little these bags <laughs> Now, if I would have known, I probably would have got them a little bit bigger. But like I said, I just was literally like, 
just trying to test her theory. Just I know some of y'all probably do it to me, but I was literally just testing her theory and her theory worked. <laughs> Yeah, I was approved for the net 30 account, but like I said, this is what I ordered. <laughs> um, another thing, too, is that a lot of people have been asking about, if y'all have any questions, y'all can ask questions, too. Um, this is supposed to be a Q&A session, but I know we don't get a lot of people, or you might not even know what questions to ask. Like, if you don't know anything about emails, you wouldn't know what questions to ask about emails. If you don't know anything about Shopify, you wouldn't know what questions to ask with Shopify. Oh, and then just the FYI, Shopify does do capital loans. They are no compound capital loans. So if you need help building a Shopify store and you want a loan that you can actually pay back, then Shopify, um, once you start making sales and stuff on there, they'll offer you a, a loan. And like I said, it's a no compound interest loan. So the interest is not growing. So if it takes you two years to pay them back, the interest is going to be the same, okay? Um, the most that I've been approved for with Shopify is $4,000. And I'm just about paying that back. But even with that, I mean, you know, you have to remember... It's taken out of your daily sales. So sometimes I get $2,000 a day and that's like 17, 15% out of that $2,000 goes towards the capital loan. So just keep that in mind, like especially with those of you that are working with inventory. Uh, with me, I do have an inventory based business with the blanks and with the t-shirts, but the majority of my sales come from digital products and stuff like that. So I can afford for... 10% of my income to come out, but can you all afford that? So that's something else to consider when you are taking your Shopify capital loan. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Um, also, the Grave Blanket course is on sale. And with the Grave Blanket venture, you can create banners and stuff like that. So you'll be able to also create banners like this with the gray blanket vendor but um the course it is a it teaches you photoshop and stuff like that and it does come with a uh it does come with a tutorial on how to place your order so if you want to get into banners uh gray blankets uh gray blankets they come probably 150 dollars off the rip and if you can design your own which is why we teach you how to do it in the photoshop course you'll be able to really make a good profit off of it. But that course is on sale for $39.99, and you can use our paying for options that we have available. Uh, Mimi said you slang and glitter. I mean, hey, if somebody, um, if somebody does sell glitter and y'all want some of these bags, let me know and pay for shipping, and I'll ship them to you. Miss Princess Diamond says she's been so busy. It's okay, Miss Princess. We're just glad to have you back, honeybee. Uh, let's see. Do we have any questions? Any questions about what we've discussed tonight? Oh, that's why. Uh, Princess Diamond says she's a teacher. I got you. You can give uh, to a teacher to give out uh, the pencil erasers. Do you think a pencil eraser? I, I honestly don't think a pencil eraser is going to fit in here, Miss Princess Diamond. Like, I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think much of anything. I don't know what, who would buy these? Only me. But I, I, I mean, you can message me and if you want them, you can have them, okay? Um, Miss Latina says, hello. Hello, Miss Latina. How are you? Like I said, um, also, let's keep the likes up. We have 11 people on the video. I know it's late, you all, but go ahead and like the video, comment the video. Let me know, are you a crafter or a business owner? And if you have any questions, like I said, I'm not a guru. I'm actually watching someone else and taking uh, the steps as they give it to us. And as I go through them, then I will also let you guys know what I'm doing. So, like I said, my first net 30 is Uline. I ordered one of the cheapest things that they had to offer. Had I known these bags was this little, I probably would have spent a little bit more money, but it is what it is. Miss Wanda says, good evening. Good evening, Miss Wanda. Tammy says she's both a business owner and a crafter. Hello, Miss Tammy. 
everybody y'all let's make sure we are liking the video commenting the video do y'all have any questions for me um let me see another thing too is tiktok shop so this is what i've noticed about the tiktok shop everybody has been asking me about it <clears throat> me personally i would not do the tiktok shop because right now they might give you a free trial period right but at the end of that trial period they're gonna want some of your money okay not only that but the shipping is going to be a lot stricter what I would suggest is get you a website. We do have a Shopify beginners course that shows you step by step and it comes with the help group. But get you a website and um, drive traffic to your website. If you're taking orders on Shopify, then your Shopify is going to calculate that and they're going to offer you a capital loan. So for those of you that are desperate or wanting business funding, then go to Shopify. Take orders off of Shopify. If you can get somebody to purchase from your TikTok shop, I guarantee you they'll purchase from your website, okay? But TikTok shop, they're going to eventually charge you per sale. Um, another thing, they are giving your customers a discount on your product because they're charging you. So the money that you're paying them per sale, they're going to basically give it to your customers as a discount. Y'all get what I'm saying? Most of these apps, they're not going to do things to help you. It's to help them. Just like with the uh, with the thirty thousand uh, dollar reels contest or the thirty thousand um, dollar engagement contest that's going on now, right? Not contest, but bonus challenge that Facebook has. That's not for us. Facebook isn't trying to help us. They are trying to help themselves. They want to keep creators on their app. They want creators to keep going live, keep posting reels, keep posting videos. And that is why I feel like a lot of us, once we sign up for these programs, we get a little suppressed, meaning our views go down. But that's because they're not trying to really give us that money. They're not going to just hand us $30,000. It's not going to happen. Um, am I enrolled in the program? Yes. I done made $45 and, and I done posted about 45 times. No, nah, just play it. Nah, but on a serious note, um, I'm a part of the program and you know, I've noticed a big drop in decline in my views and my reach. Uh, Wanda says she's a business owner. Good evening, Miss Wanda. Wanda says, what was the process for Uline? So the process for Uline, I just went to Uline.com, um, selected what I wanted to purchase. And during checkout, I put invoice me for 30 days or invoice me in 30 days or something like that. And then they're going to let you know if you are approved or not. Okay. <clears throat> so really simple. Miss Wanda says, I need help with Shopify. Tried to set up. Didn't know what I was doing. Miss Wanda, we have a Shopify beginners course. Y'all know what else? What else I was going to announce to y'all. Don't forget Friday, we are um, starting our subscription group. So if y'all are enjoying co this conversation, um, then starting Friday, we will start taking people into the subscription group. How it's going to work is you're going to pay a, a fee up front, right? And then every month is going to be about $19.99 a month, but you get three of these sessions per week, okay? So three uh, 30 minute to one hour sessions per week for $20 a month. That's way, way less than your coffee money. Okay. And I am going to be in there teaching different classes. We will have Q and a sessions. We will have live video challenges and stuff like that. For those of you that enjoy watching me, but you can't afford to necessarily pay $19.99 a month right now. I believe in you. So I know eventually you'll be able to switch over with us, but we do have over 100 free videos available for crafters that have been created within the last two years. Um, and you can watch those in our free help group, BritWithTheBlanks.com. You can watch those on our YouTube channel, or you can go to our business page, Crafts by Brit, and find all of those free video videos and stuff, okay? So you'll still be able to have me. You just won't have me live and in action, okay? Another thing is I will still go live and nurture my audience because that's a part of my job. But it won't be as detailed, okay? I won't just be spilling all the beans to y'all like I'm doing now. And like I have done in the past. Um, so if you are interested this Friday, that will be available 
The gray blanket course sale ends on Friday, so it will go back to uh, $79.99. Right now it's $39.99. And then Friday, what I'm going to do is, and um, because I didn't realize it was tax-free weekend here in Texas, and even though some of you all aren't in Texas, I still want to spread the joy of tax-free weekend. That was something that I really enjoyed as a kid. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dropship course on sale for $99. And then for those of you that did the uh, 10K class, you do have a $30 coupon. So with that $30 coupon, you can either go and get the uh, gray blanket course right now for like $7.99. Um, you can also get the dropship class this coming Friday for about $50, okay? So if you took the 10K class, even if you weren't in attendance live, you can you should still have an uh, email with the discount code, okay? Miss um, Wanda says, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yes, honey B, come on over and uh, join the other side. It's lifetime access. Most of my courses are lifetime access. If I teach a live class, that is not nine times out of 10. That's not going to be lifetime access. But if you are in a subscription group, you will get a um, you're going to get a login. And if you already have classes with me, it will be on the same login. So after every class, I will upload uh, the videos to the log to the login accounts so that y'all can go and watch them at your own pace and keep track of them. So that's going to be another benefit for those of you in a subscription group. Unlike these videos, you have to kind of skip through and see which ones you've watched and haven't watched. That uh, course platform is going to help you keep everything in order, okay? Um, Miss Ravel says, crafter and business owner. Hey, Miss Ravel, how are you? Did I already speak to you? Um, let's see, y'all. Let's make sure we are keeping the likes up, especially on the personal page um, and on the business page. Hey, y'all. So I am monetized on a personal page and on a business page. So when y'all watching these videos, y'all helping your girl make some money. When y'all are um, liking the videos, y'all are helping me make some money. So go ahead, run the likes up, run the hearts up. It's free 99. Now, those of you in the group, y'all don't have to do that because I don't get paid for the group. I'll be trying to make sure I speak to everybody, Miss Reveal. Now, let me see. Miss uh -uh -uh. Tammy, which one do you have? Uh, Miss Tamira says, this is why you are so great. Thank you. I, I just assumed you said wanted to say great. Miss Tamir says, love this. Thank you. Um, and then also, y'all, I am a woman of my word. So we will be continuing the uh, 30 sessions before we get started with the group, okay? So don't be thinking, Britt said she was going to go live for free 30 times. I am. I'm going to finish them up. And I think this is episode that we're doing now. I think this is 18, maybe 19. So time is dwindling down. And if y'all haven't watched these videos and y'all are having a hard time finding them, go to our YouTube channel, Brit with the Blanks, and then you'll be able to uh, watch the whole series, epi uh, each episode at a time without having to bounce around and look for them. Uh, Miss Wanda says she needs to do the same thing. Get into it, Miss Wanda. Get into it. Get into it. Miss Dana says, uh, I need to look into the Shopify class. Yes, Miss Dana. Also, one more thing. If you are on our email list, you should have received a discount code when you first signed up. Okay, so go get that 10% off. Let me tell y'all, use the discount codes that we send out. Even if you got the discount code two months ago, use it because it only hurt me when I'm doing my physical products. So take advantage, like when I'm giving y'all these this stuff. Like literally, y'all paid $14.99 for a class and I gave y'all a $30 discount. Like, come on now. Take advantage and use it. Um, hey Miss VTZ, what's going on? Hey, Miss Tammy Lott. Uh, Princess Diamond says she's a crafter and she has a nonprofit. Miss Princess Diamond, I would like to look into a nonprofit as well um, because I want to start doing some more stuff with the kids. Um, and so, one thing that's another thing I've been working on, y'all, is community service hours. So, if you want business recognition within your community, 
go to like the local community center, um, go to the elderly homes and see if they uh, do the community service hours. And if they do, you can uh, create a log or um, print you out a um, uh, print you out a log off Google and start logging in your uh, community service hours. And then when they have business awards and stuff in your area, you can have people nominate you and you'll have the community service hours behind you. So I have a lot of people um, in my community that support me. Some of you don't know, but I'm on the housing board. And so um, in order to get, you know, a honest, proper support, you have to put the work in. And so recently y'all saw me... Uh, Recently, y'all saw me do a class with uh, the community center. Last year, me and Jeremy did a class with the community center. And then I plan on doing another one before the year's up. But um, I, that's something that I've been working on is getting more into dealing with the kids. Um, I was a at-risk youth. So at-risk youth is like, I love those kids and I want to help them. And so... Um, that's really like my little targeted audience for the kids, for the youth. Miss Dana says, I will check my email. Yes, Miss Dana, get into it. Tammy says, love you too. Miss um, Tammy, what'd you buy a year ago? Hey, Miss Donna. If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all ask me because I can't answer anything if y'all don't ask me anything, okay? And then we're going to be ending the live soon. Because Corey does uh, start school tomorrow, and I have been running around like crazy. Um, remember last month, I told you I was working on my diet, so that was a flop. <laughs> I did a few workout sessions, and then I ended up stopping. So whew, yesterday, I was on it. I did about 30, 40 minutes uh, on my little uh, cardio machine. And then today I did a good 35, 40 minutes and my back hurt, my feet hurt. Like I'm fat, y'all. I know I'm tall, so it don't look like it, but I'm fat. There's a lot of weight to carry around. I'm used to being like 150, 160. If you go and look at my old pictures, you'll see I was a stick. So I cannot let myself get past this point. Like, this is drawing the line. So I got me a fresh watermelon. I cut up the watermelon, um, portioned it out into, like, different meal preps, plus the kids. And when Jeremy is here, they like eating fruit and stuff, too. So instead of buying a lot of snacks, I've gotten into buying um, fruits and stuff over the last year. So I, bought, I cut up the watermelon. And what I did was the skin of the watermelon. Y'all know the, the rind that's right underneath the skin. So I cut the skin from the rind and then I boiled the rind and um, mixed it with a little water. And so I'm going to be drinking that because they say you're supposed to intake so much, so much water per day. But the water is going to wash away the electrolytes in your body. So to balance that out. Um, I'm going to see what the uh, watermelon rind water is going to do for me. Uh, BTZ says she heard juicing is better. I want to get into juicing too. I've been looking at juice uh, juicers as well. Um, Tammy La says the graveside backpack is something else I got them when you did uh, Christmas in July. So uh, do you like it, Miss Tammy? BTZ said I'm fat too. <laughs> BTs and we both fat, y'all. But really, weight loss is about the calories that you intake. And I'm not ashamed to say, like, a lot of my calories are empty calories. Say, for instance, like, I like coffee. So each coffee that I get from um, Sonic every day is about 375 to 400 calories, right? So when I got on the calorie calculator, it says that, I'm, that with my size and my height, I'm taking in about 2,200 calories a day to maintain this weight. So literally, if I drink two coffees a day, that's 800 calories alone. Empty calories that's not filling me up, not adding any nutrition to my body. So that's a habit that y'all probably been watching me, but y'all know I'll be talking about kicking that, uh, that coffee habit for a while. But that is a habit that I've worked on over the years kicking. And sometimes it'd be having me in a chokehold, y'all. And lately with 
me trying to get back into the swing of uh, working and trying to figure out what we're going to do with the shop and stuff like that. It's like, y'all know what I'm saying? Like, I, I be wanting my coffee. It's like, that's what makes me happy. Um, So, I'm going to try do my best to cut out some coffee. Either that or I need to work out, okay? But if I drop that coffee alone, your girl going to be slim fine. But <laughs> I'm addicted. I love coffee, y'all. My mama used to drink coffee when I was little. Uh, Tammy says, yes, for the homemade coffee. Let me tell y'all, my homemade coffee is just as bad because all I do is put cream in <laughs> I can't, like, I put cream in there and everything, y'all. Like, coffee got me in a chokehold. Tim says, got to have the coffee. BTZ says, uh, weight loss is a mind thing. I drink coffee daily and I have stopped my sugar in it. All I use is the creamers. Uh, BTZ, baby, I ain't got there yet. I'm not there yet. I be loving coffee. The sweeter, the better. And it's crazy because I don't like juice. So I can drink coffee all day, but I'm not really a juice drinker. Like if, if a juice has too much sugar in it, Mm -mm. the coffee I'm gonna pour that thing upside down <laughs> I'm gonna pour it upside down in there let's see do we have any questions y'all uh Ravel says yes maybe we did Miss Wanda says I need to do the same thing y'all we gotta get it get it together because the bigger we are the older we look like I'm sitting over here looking like somebody greeny <laughs> and I'm only 31 <laughs> So I got to get my life together. Um, like I said, I am at a weight that I have never been at. And so I don't know if it's happy weight because my relationship, I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know. But these cheeks, this chin has got to go. And so um, once I get focused, I really get focused. So that's why I'm just changing everything up. Like earlier, um, like I said, I had watermelon. I did have my coffee today. I'm not going to lie. I had two coffees today. <laughs> but watermelon um, for, for like a breakfast type of thing. And then, no, I did a banana. So I did a banana and then I did a little bit of watermelon as I was cutting it up. And then I had a uh, fresh spinach salad. And then I, last night I made a chicken breast in the oven, cut it up and put it on there. Because yesterday we had spinach salads with like a little bit of boiled egg, spinach, and chicken. So the leftover chicken, I didn't boil an egg. I just put it onto the spinach and ate it like that. And then for dinner, I did a cabbage and sausage stir fry. And so I'm not going to lie. Like I made two different ones. I made because Jeremy's visiting. So he doesn't eat pork or beef. And I was on that level. And I'm just trying to get back to that lift, y'all. But anyway, so I made a turkey one, and then I made a beef one for me and the kids. And so we had that for dinner, and then um, that's it. I just got to thug it out for the rest of the night. I'm going to go to sleep after this. I'll be all right. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. But uh, so I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better. Tammy said, no, it's not. Less sugar is better. Uh, Tammy says, I want to add a business clothing line to my business. What's stopping you, Miss Tammy? BT said, you already slim fine. Not with this. This is not slim fine, y'all. This is not slim fine. This is big fine. <laughs> uh... Ravel says, I got to restart. Yes, yes. I mean, it. my thing is, it's like, as long as you are aware of the problem and you are open to fixing it, that's all that matters, okay? As long as you are aware. Like, I'm very well aware that I done gained 50 pounds in the last three years. <laughs> I done gained 50 pounds in the last three years, and I need to get it off. <laughs> but awareness is number one. Some of y'all be so, y'all be so in denial. Y'all be Delulu. That, that's the new word, Delulu. Y'all be Delulu.
But uh, BT said, that's how I drink more water. It will start going away. That's what I'm going to have to do, y'all. And then that's why I make that watermelon water, too. So hopefully it'll give me like a food type feel, but it's really water. But it tastes like watermelon. I don't know. Because even like with the watermelon, I can't eat too much of that because then, you know, like anything you do that's like overboard, it's, it's not, you know. Mary says, I'm addicted to Cokes and 7-Up. She says, I am trying. Um, the thing about soda, like I used to be really, really addicted to Dr. Pepper. But the thing about soda that I noticed is that it bloats you up. Like, that's one of the hard things about soda is it, it bloats you up. Um, because really, if you look at a soda can, like if you could have 1,600 calories in a day, a soda is what, 100 calories? I mean, so if you're willing to sacrifice like a piece of a meal, it's really not bad, but it's what the actual soda does to your body that's bad. Uh, VT said, put lemon and cucumber in the water. It helps with bloating. Thank you, uh, Miss VTZ. When I was uh, a while back, I had got big and I lost weight, like a lot of weight in 30 days. And that's basically what I was doing. I was drinking a gallon of water. And most days I would cut up lemon and cucumber and put it in the different waters and drink it like that. So that's actually a really good idea, Miss VTZ. Hey, Miss Lashina Vaughn. How are you, girl? Long time no see. But if y'all don't have any more questions, because I still got, um, I still need to do a little bit. Um, I said I was going to do another workout because that's another thing. Like we have so much time in a day. So I'm trying to fill up my time slots with positive things. So I have an issue with going to bed at night, y'all. So I'm going to work out, take a shower. I done already washed the dishes. I put Jeremy his little lunch up for tomorrow. Uh, Corey, she's already in the bed. Braylon, he doesn't start school until next week. But Braylon is a whole vibe, y'all. Braylon just be chilling, minding his business. So while the house is quiet, I'm going to go ahead and get my work out of here. That way ain't nobody stopping me. Talking about mama, mama. Uh, Erica says, is this the live I've been waiting for about the bags? <laughs> Are you talking about these bags? Oh, these bags, Erica, that I can't even fit the top of my uh, lip gloss into these ones <laughs> i can't fit the top of the lip gloss in there y'all this is sad <laughs> just for those of you that are new and make sure y'all like the video comment the video it's free to show support um but this is it we having technical difficulties uh -huh. but anyways <laughs> Um, so my positive words for you all, I guess I'll tie it back into what I said just a minute ago. Like if you see a problem, get on it. Like if you see things where you are lacking, get on it. Like a lot of y'all's problems is, is that, and this is just random, but y'all scared to go live, which is something that a lot of y'all are lacking in your business. Going live is a big, big asset to my business. Sometimes I get off of a live video and I hit three, four hundred dollars on my website within 10 minutes of ending the live. Right. But um, so this is something that a lot of you all are lacking. Work on it. Go live. Get on here. Talk to a couple people. Um, they I want to say they used to have test lives that you can do on Facebook. They might still have them. Oh, I got it to fit y'all. I got it to fit. Um, but they used to have like where you can test the live videos and stuff, but, um, I'm not sure about that now, but work on what you need to work on. Okay. Like if you know, you're not sending out emails, work on the emails. If you say, well, Britt, I don't have an email list to send out emails, work on growing your email list. Okay. It's easy. Just ask people that are, have bought your products before, um, to see their email address and start sending them emails. And we do have an email course too, y'all. Ravel says, I don't like to share pics and videos. I know that's weird, but that's my issue. Okay, so Ravel, how are we going to shop with you if we don't know what you sell, baby? And why? what makes you different from the other ladies that do shirts in your town if, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you. Um, yeah, Ravel, shouldn't nobody be telling you how to run your business, girl? Get on it. Get on it, baby. 
Your friend shouldn't have to tell you. You owe you. Your friend don't owe you nothing. If you go live or if you share a video and you make $200, your friend ain't going to get paid for that. So motivate yourself. Get up. Get up and get on it. A lot of people are getting a lot of followers on TikTok. Really, what I've noticed, and I've been studying the algorithm over there, is that when you go live on TikTok, that's how you're going to get the majority of your followers, okay? Um, a lot of you might think that TikTok is like a lot of vanity numbers, um, but really, it's about authenticity. Like, I've noticed that those people that are going live over there, they have a loyal fan base. Um, even if they talk a smack about the person on the live, like, they going to be on there. Um, and so, yeah, on Facebook, it's the same way. That's how I got y'all. That's how y'all buy my products is because I go on live. Uh, I go on these lives and I talk about them. Um, I create live videos surrounding products that I have available. Good night, Miss Victoria. We get ready to go to sleep, baby. Hey, Miss Jennifer, I didn't see you on here, but we get ready to go to sleep. Um, not go to sleep. I'm getting ready to go work out and get in a shower. But okay, y'all. So say something. Um, look. It's not just about posting, Miss VTZ. You got to get on there, girl. Like, you got to actually get on the live. Like, I promise y'all, get on the live. Get on your Zoom. Every day at 10, you got to get on your Zoom. Go live. I challenge all of y'all. It's about maybe 15, 20 people watching right now. I challenge everybody. Go live tomorrow. I don't care if y'all on there for five minutes. Go live tomorrow. Um, create one reel tomorrow and go live tomorrow. Okay? Create one reel and go live. I challenge you. It's a duel. Oh, or let me use reverse psychology. Y'all ain't gonna get on no live tomorrow. Y'all ain't worried, but y'all ain't about to do that. Y'all ain't trying to get no money. Y'all want stuff handed to y'all. Hopefully, hopefully that got some of y'all going. <laughs> Uh-uh, Tammy, go ahead. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm peer pressuring y'all. Uh, Erica says, ADHD moment. <laughs> uh, VTZ says she been doing real good. Look, VTZ, I want it. VTZ be on my videos a lot, too, so I'm proud of you, girl. Keep going. Uh, Rebel says, I get anxiety when certain people ask me about my business. Well, when you first get on there, here's the thing. With the live videos, if y'all give enough information, if y'all sit down and create an outline, the more you give the customers, the less they're going to ask. Like a lot of y'all don't have to ask me any questions because I tell y'all, look, I got the dropship course. In the dropship course, you can get this, this, and the third. Ooh, I wash my bags from the dropship vendors. Do y'all want to see them? Hold on. I'm going to get the bags real quick, and then we're going to get off the live. But while I'm getting the bags, in the comment section, say something positive, y'all. And this is one of the most important portions of the live video is because most of us are getting ready to go to sleep, right? The last thing that you think about, like, that's very important because that's what you nine times out of ten going to be thinking when you wake up in the morning. So even if you don't know anybody on this video, say something positive. Y'all don't know who could be on the break of giving up. Y'all don't know who could be on the break of doing something crazy. Like, say something positive. Like I said, for me, my positive word for you all is to uh, keep going and handle your business. Get stuff done. If you know it's messed up then get it straight. Figure out what you need to do to get it straight, okay? Let me go get my bag, um, and I'll be right back. And we're going to end the live. Okay, so y'all know I'm always talking about my bags and stuff. I look like a granny getting up. <laughs> but y'all know I'm always talking about my bags and stuff on my reels and all of that. So I actually washed this bag. I've been having this one for about two years. And I washed it. And I just want y'all to see that the quality is still the same. Nothing is tore up. Nothing is ripped. All the quality is still good. The inside didn't come apart. So I just want y'all to know um, that I would never get y'all to sign up or purchase anything that's faulty. Not purposely purposely anyway um and so this this is my little baggie that i've been having for two years it's done been to a few different states with me um 
And this vendor is also in the dropship course. And the dropship course is going to be $99 for one day only. Miss Lashina Vaughn says, keep pushing. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, Miss Lashina. Y'all, Miss Lashina has been with me for a while, too. Uh, Miss Tammy says, be your best supporter and never give up on you. Thank you, Miss Tammy. VTZ says, let's keep striving for success in our business. VTZ um, says she's shy. VTZ, here's the thing. Like, the more you do it, the easier it's going to be. Like, I looked at one of my videos the other day when I first got started. I was not this chatty Cathy. I was like, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Britt, the owner and operator of Crafts by Britt. Now I'm like... Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Britt, the owner and operator of Crafts by Britt. Once you get on the live, do me a favor and speak to your girl. Let me know if you're a craft or a business owner. But I used to start off, hey, y'all, it's your girl, Britt, the owner and operator of Crafts by Britt. I had to get into the zone. I had to learn my slogan. Um, so being shy is going to happen. It's okay. But you have to realize that what you need is stronger than your fears, Okay. Uh, Rakai says, hey, y'all, it's been a very stressful, uh, it's been very stressful lately, but I'm pushing through, trying to keep my head above water. See what I'm saying? We didn't even know Rakai was going to get on here with that. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Like, these positivity sessions, like, they, they for a reason. God put them on my heart for a reason. Uh, Miss Rakaya, I'm praying for you, girl. Send me a message. Maybe we can come up with a game plan or something together, okay? Um, but... Thank you for coming on here and being honest with us, Ms. Rakaya, because not every day is easy. I struggle too, y'all. I swear I struggle too. It was a struggle about to get on this live because I be tired. I'm tired now. I done cleaned up the kitchen, cleaned up the house. Uh, but let's see. Erica says, at least Friday, y'all. Uh uh, at least Friday, y'all payday. <laughs> Look, that's some positive. Uh, Friday is payday. Uh, BTC tour says I've been doing reels. Okay. We saw that one. Miss Rakaya says sound good. Miss Lashina Vaughn says she's been dealing with the same thing. See what I'm saying? Y'all, you just never know. Like you never know who you are helping when you just pour positivity out into the atmosphere. Like you just never know who you could be stopping from giving up. Cause I promise I talk to crafters all the time and being a business owner, you can get depressed real easy. It's a lot of factors in owning a business that will cause depression. Okay. Um, but we got to combat that. And how do we combat that? We combat that with a plan because like I said, if you know something wrong, how can we fix it? So Rakaya, we got to figure out what's wrong and how can we fix what's wrong? The same thing for you, Miss Lashina. Um, but anyways, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and I will see y'all, um, tomorrow. I hope I'm not going to make any promises. The only thing I'm going to promise is that Friday, the subscription group, y'all will be able to get into there. Like I said, it's going to be a one-time fee. And then after that, it's going to be $19.99 a month. Um, and then in that group, like I said, you'll get three live videos from me a week. Okay. Three, three. For those of you that cannot afford to get into the group right now, like I said, you can go and watch the replays. I do have over 100 videos available, okay? Dropship course is going to be on sale for $99.99. The Grave Blanket course is ending on Friday. The sale um, right now is $39.99, okay? So I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all, and I will see y'all tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow. My goal is tomorrow, okay? Peace out.